guy's got, you know, your, your heel of your shoe gets st stuck when you put your shoe on and you have to unflip it. Um, anyway, uh, Sony A1, I've been using it now for a week or so uh, with a new firmware update. And <laughs> Tommy is coming here. Who's that? Will it follow me right around this question? Pocket 3 is actually epic. Tom, Tom. Tom, come up here. He was literally looking out the patio doors at me. Um, we go. We go. Here he is. Mr. Tom, Tom. Camera's staying on me. It's almost dark out here. The, it's cloudy, it's miserable. Um, but yeah, back to the A1. The new firmware update, the new menu system, sort of complete and utter um, <laughs> uh, operating system, basically. Has it found me? It's got me again. Um, complete new operating system. Can you... What are you doing? Liking it, it's fine. It's very similar, to obviously, to the A6700 that I've also got. The improvements I've noticed, one, it turns on quicker, Two, which I noticed the other day, was when I format my card, and I've got a 280, 280 gig um, CFX, uh, CFX, can't speak, CFX Express A cards in there. They were showing in compressed RAW, which I shoot most of the time, uh, 1,278 shots. They're now showing 1,307. So obviously they've tweaked the RAW format slightly as well. Uh, so it's obviously slightly more, even more compressed. No issues whatsoever with image quality. Um, it seems to be totally fine. And yeah, so that's good. Uh, and I haven't done a buffer test, but I presume the buffer must go a little bit longer now. So if, if the, the images are smaller, the buffer is going to fill up slower. So, I don't know. That's one thing to look at. Anyway, um, autofocus is definitely more snappy. Definitely a little bit more intelligent because, for example, if I look around this way, you've got, wherever my arm is, there, you've got a wooden uh, beam thing, I don't know what you call it, um, which plants and stuff grow up. The starlings have been landing on there, and from about 30 or 40 metres away, uh, they were still picking up the eyes. Very, very small, like really, really small box in in camera and I thought you know that's definitely improved on what it could do before it wasn't quite as um, you know it couldn't go as so far away so that's definitely an improvement it picks up the eye much quicker um, especially in trees and bushes and things like that it was picking up the eyes much quicker I noticed anyway compared to what it was before uh, with the 200 600 anyway um, today I've been out with um, the 2600 A1 in pissing rain, like heavy, horrible, miserable, crappy weather, shooting through rain at, into headlights. Um, didn't miss a beat. Um, got some cool shots of motorbikes going uh, down to the May Day thing, so I'll put a couple of shots in there as well. I might even do a separate video, but um, yeah, it was um, that was fine. Uh, but birds in flight, I took. 800, is either 878 or 898 shots um, of uh, the swallows and I don't know if anybody else has swallows in your country or whatever if you ever try photographing them they fly and then rotate and just change directions so quickly they're really quite difficult to get a good shot at especially quite close um, because they rotate and can literally be a hundred feet away um, going the opposite direction where you're still panning going hang on where's it gone and it's already 100 feet over there. So they are quite difficult to photograph and I got 100% hit rate um, of the ones I actually managed to get in shot. Um, so the actual problem in some respects it was me. I'm not moving quick enough or gauging where it might go or moving quick enough. So, but the camera itself, flawless. Um, focus points hitting pretty much the target every time. Uh, sometimes it just show off off target, but you know it's still got it. 
because this is a bit sharp, uh, just depending on uh, what's actually happening, I guess. But yeah, very, very pleased. The operating system, like I said, is fine. The swiping in and out, I kind of get used to, but I quite often have the screen turned off anyway. Uh, and I just generally use my setup um, custom buttons, which I'm pretty happy with. I haven't set the camera up 100% uh, yet. I'm still experimenting with the settings. I'm still just changing them bits and pieces here or there. Uh, some things I had as I did before. Um, battery life doesn't seem to be any more than it was uh, before. Uh, I have it in airplane mode most of the time, so if you are um, using it with the wireless stuff turned on, it will use more power anyway, but I think maybe it is a bit more powerful, uh, using a bit more now anyway, I don't really know, because I haven't actually tested that side, because I don't, don't need to. Um, what else does it do? A bit more stable, so a little bit more stabilisation um, algorithms have been dealt with. Uh, definitely a bit smoother with the 200 or 600. Uh, and I did try a little bit of a walk with the Sigma, um, with the active stabilisation on, walking through the woods with the 14mm, so quite wide, and it did look a little bit more steady than it was before. Um, and I walk like an absolute elephant kind of thing. So, you know, I'm quite often a bit like that. Uh, yeah, other than that, I'm very pleased with it. And yeah, just a case of once it's done, it's done, and it, it's working very well. Uh, no overheating issues, I'm saying that, it's not exactly hot at the moment anyway. Uh, but like I say, autofocus works brilliantly, the speed works brilliantly. Um, like I say, I have to do a buffer test and see if I can actually um, overload the buffer a little bit. But if they've made the images smaller in the com uh, compressed RAWs, in theory, you may have another second or so's worth of extra buffer space, which is obviously a really good plus. Um, what else? Uh, pretty sure that's everything I can think of that I've noticed anyway with it. Uh, any questions just ask and I'll try and do a little test if you haven't done the update yet and you just want to know a couple of things feel free to comment below uh, and ask a few questions. Anyway here is a few of the shots I've taken so you can see it's nice and sharp still it's working well um, works still well with all of my lenses no issues whatsoever um, uh, yeah so anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button little notification bell as well and hopefully be back with a nicer, brighter day. But uh, until then, um, here's have a look at some of the photos and videos. Um, 4K 120 is working also very well, no problems whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, it's, it is what it is, and um, I'm pretty pleased. So hopefully everyone else is. Let me know if you've had any troubles. Um, it's always good to get them the information out there, for others anyway. So if you have any issues with yours, uh, and I didn't do the version 2 update, I waited because I just had a gut feeling that something was going to go wrong, uh, which obviously it did. So, um, but bit the bullet once um, the new one came out and uh, yeah, it's been fine. So anyway, catch you later. There's one other thing I forgot to say is the camera seems to format the cards quicker as well. Anyway, here's some of the photos I took. That's quite a huge crop in, believe it or not. Um, but still managed to get um, an okay shot. It was um, a lot of experimentation, trying to follow the birds. Like I said, it's extremely difficult because they move so quickly. Uh, and, you know, you have to try and guess on where they're going to go. Um, every single shot it got, but not perfect. Um, as in not the perfect shot but that's a good good thing really because i like a challenge um so yeah i need to work faster basically the camera is keeping up easily like no drama whatsoever um as you can see here um nice and sharp and everything uh, another reasonable crop in as well um but yeah i mean i was struggling with a little bit of light as well because it kept going even though it looks blue sky it was big clouds up around the sun that kept coming and going this shot here of starling going past with um bugs in its mouth feeding the babies um, but yeah no it's um, absolutely pleased with it absolutely amazing um, like a brand new camera really again another huge crop in but as you can see it's picking the right areas it seems to be using eye autofocus or even face detect of some sort um, because it never really missed focus on the head of a bird or the eyes um, so yeah it wasn't straying off anywhere which was obviously impressive 
Um, we still don't have obviously animal autofocus, eye autofocus in video. Not the end of the world, but it obviously would be nice if they could update that as well. This shot here, it looks like he's got a blue afro of some sort, but yeah, that's um, just a really dark navy blue, their feathers and everything, just really cute little birds. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, that was a huge cropping as well, just because I wasn't that close. Um, and then him taking off, uh, just sort of jumped up and then launched himself. But again, wasn't quite ready um, to get all of him perfectly. Um, it was a bit tight on the old framing, but uh, never mind. That shot there was one of the framing shots with the eye autofocus, but the image has been cropped quite a bit, um, just so you can kind of see the detail there. So yeah, it was it was impressive. Um, I say I'm very pleased. Let me know in the comments below what you think. This blew my mind. So I'm just tracking the bird. I'm trying to stay with the bloody thing. Um, and I'm just putting finger down, putting finger down. I just do burst shooting really, um, but like dabbing. And yeah, went between the bars of the um, the oak beams and everything. Um, and uh, was still capturing shots even from the other side. It was crazy. Um, Tommy there, just sneaking up on me. Um, concentrating on whatever he's doing. But um, yeah, there you go. That's some of the photos. Here's some of the videos. A beautiful bird, there's colours and everything in them. I've done alright, I think I've got a few shots now. Um, there's a pair in our garage, well like open carport thing. So I can stand in the shade and manage to get them flying about because I know where they're going to go each time, it's cool. As you can see I'm moving around quite a bit and it doesn't look that stable but um, that's because I had it in lens setting number two on the stabilization, which is obviously for um, erratic movements. So um, yeah, here is another video um, shot in the dark, actually, on the 135G Master. That is mega. Really sticky. I'm actually moving the camera loads. It's just a fe weird feeling. Whoa, that is nuts. I've definitely improved it on the 135G Master. Holy crap. And by the way, it's approximately that dark <laughs> in the real world. Tom Tom. Tom Tom. He worked out the deer over there probably. Oh, the new stabilisation update on the firmware. I'm hand holding this. But approximately well, 135 plus crop. It's pretty good. And then 135 plus a crop in plus another 1.5 on top of that. So whatever that would be. Need to work it out. Two hundred ish. I mean that is pretty stable. Just so you know, real world brightness. It's about little camera's gone nuts. You can't see. Um, it was about that dark anyway. I can't see any features with my na naked eye. So I was actually shooting at, uh, just have a look at the settings, um, 60 frames per second, uh, 100, uh, 1 120th of a second uh, shutter speed, and ISO 25,000. 800 it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, pretty impressive. Here we go, some of the motorcycle stuff in the pouring rain today. Um, A1's definitely weather sealed. Um, it got absolutely drenched, as did the 200 or 600, absolutely fine. So that's one good thing. 
Um, but as you can see, sharp shots, no drama whatsoever. Um, lighting is pretty good. Um, even shooting straight into headlights through rain. Um, this shot here was actually not raining that much, but um, there are other shots as well. But I will do another video on this. As you can see there, loads of spray and everything coming up. No real drama whatsoever. So yeah, very, very pleased on how the camera is performing generally. Um, I'll just put it out there. I just thought I'd show you guys what I've been doing and also that it's just performing as it should. Uh, really, you know, straight into headlights there. Uh, no messing around or whatsoever. So yeah, um, I don't think the camera is missing anything. I've, I've sort of had a scan through all the settings and everything like that. And, um, you know, it, it just seems to be everything's there unless I missed something but let us know in the comments if you can't find anything um, because I, I'm still messing around with the um, setup of the camera itself I'm still adjusting things and maybe trying a few new things out so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video um, like I say please comment down below and uh, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell as well and I'll see you soon for another video